Hello, and welcome to the Proud Data Migration tutorial. Today we'll be learning how to rescue your files from five and a quarter inch floppy disks. First, make sure the laptop is plugged into a power source. The cord plugs into the round port on the upper left hand corner of the laptop. Next, connect the five and a quarter inch floppy disk drive to a power source. You'll need the USB cord to connect it to the laptop. The cord will be marked with a green dot and have a USB type A connection on one side with a USB type B connection on the other. The type B end plugs into the silver square on the green controller, as seen on the screen, with the other end plugging into the laptop. Either USB port is fine. The green controller piece should already be ready to go without any need to unravel its ribbon. However, if it does become undone, don't worry. It's easy to put back together. Take either of the black pieces at the end of the ribbon and attach them to the set of pins on the green controller. The black piece has holes that connect with the pins, and you have to make sure the red stripe on the ribbon is facing the right way. As you can see on the controller in small print, it tells you where to position the first pin with the red stripe. Now that you're all connected, we can start transferring your data. But before we insert the five and a quarter inch floppy disk, you may want to write protect it, which will keep the computer from writing over the data that's currently on the disk. To do this, you'll need to cover the small notch on the right side of the disk. A small piece of tape to cover the notch will work fine, and the computer now knows to only read the disk and not to write to it. You can now insert the disk into the reader, label side up. Once it's in, flip the switch on the front over the opening. Now we can start working from the laptop. From the desktop, open Disk Image and Browse from the taskbar at the bottom. From the window, we'll need to change the disk type. Choose your best guess about the disk. By far the commonest types are MS-DOS 1200K and MS-DOS 360K. Once you've made a choice, click Browse Disk Contents to see if it was the right one. If it's not the right disk type, the pop-up window will tell you it's unable to get the file listing. Feel free to close that window and make a different selection to try again. You'll know you've chosen the correct disk type when you see file data in the pop-up window. You can then click Done. Make sure to note or change where the output image directory is set to. This is where your disk image will save. Below that field is where you can name your file, but make sure to keep the same three-letter file extension. It may be .dsk or .img, depending on the disk type. Now choose Capture Disk Image File. It will read through the entire disk to capture the data. After clicking Yay, you can close the program. And open Win Image from the taskbar. Make sure you have all Windows Explorer's windows closed, or else Win Image will not function properly. Then choose the Open File icon. Using the Look In bar, navigate to where you saved the disk image previously. And open it. Click the Extract icon next to the Save button. Use the Browse button to choose where you'd like the files to save, such as the desktop. Click OK. Since I chose to save to the desktop, you can see the files on the left. And now you're done. Thanks for watching.